PRP is platelet-rich plasma. It's been around for a very long time, but it used to be a little difficult to use. You'd have to mix it with calcium, you'd have to use it within seven minutes of mixing it up. So surgeons and physicians and a lot of the people that used PRP as a treatment turned to other things as technology changed. However, now it has been, uh, it has become a new up and coming science to be used as treatment for chronic pain and damaged tissue. So what we do, because it's become such a perfected technique, in this clinic we take out 10 cc's of autologous blood. A lot of other clinics that are doing this are having to take 50 cc's. We're only taking 10 cc's, which is just one tube of blood. We spin it down. 10 minutes after we take it from the patient's arm, we are able to inject it back into the area, the area of damage or concern. For example, if a patient has knee pain or shoulder pain, uh, torn rotator cuff or osteoarthritis, uh, arthritis of the foot, any joints, we can put those platelets right in there. Platelets are the things in our blood that heal. They've got interleukin and growth factors and all the different proteins and cells that help our body to heal. For example, when you cut yourself, instead of blood, you see that yellow fluid that comes to the area, that's called plasma. And plasma is very, very rich in platelets. So that's all we use. We don't need the red blood cells. We don't need all the other stuff that's in the blood. We just want to use that platelet-rich plasma and inject it back into the damaged area of the body. We can do this, as I said, in most joints that have damage or arthritis. Or if we're trying to treat a back problem, we don't put it in uh, the vertebral area because we're not doing this under fluoroscope, but we would put it into the muscles on both sides of the spine or the vertebrae into the intramuscular region, and it really helps to pull healing to that area so that we can get rid of the problem at hand. We are the only treatment facility in the country at this point that is using PRP and laser side by side. There's a lot of data out there now that talks about photo activating the platelets. So what they do is sell this machine that's got some LED lights in it. They take the platelets out, they spin them down, and then they put it in this photo activated machine so the LED lights can get the platelets going. Well, what we've done for years now treating patients with laser is far more effective than what an LED light can do. So after we inject the platelet-rich plasma into the body, we photoactivate the plasma with laser treatment and it begins the stimulation or creates a much higher effect of healing than if just used alone. So it's very, very exciting duo technology that we're bringing to the forefront of medicine.